For the first time ever, there will be no campaign in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty video, which I have not made since NOM. But you know, I figured I would get back into things this year, even before this video, because it's going to be Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which is made by Treyarch, who's like my favorite Call of Duty game developer. Sledgehammer, Infinity Ward, sorry. I mean, some of your games have been okay, but Treyarch has just been consistent time and time again, and I absolutely love their games. So I have a lot of faith in Call of Duty this year. But some of the recent news has me a little bit worried. I mean, I still think it's going to be a good game. But an article came out the other day on Charlie Intel, which is a Call of Duty website known for like leaking information early. And it is usually very, very accurate. This website is usually never wrong. And as of yesterday, an article came out, which I'll link in the description. And here's a picture on screen. But it said Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is not going to have a campaign. Now that blows my mind for a ton of reasons one being call of duty has been around for over 10 years now and every single year there's a campaign now i know most people get call of duty for multiplayer let's not kid ourselves campaign is usually pretty cool but 95 percent of people are going to be out there playing multiplayer um, with a lot of people also playing zombies so i'm very excited for the zombies aspect of it too but some people really do like the campaign, and I feel bad for those people because they're not going to get to play a campaign this year. Now, I'm seeing all these negative comments on this news information on the different videos that I've watched saying, like, they're screwing up big time, there's no campaign, I'll never buy Call of Duty because there's no campaign. Now, I'm actually not that worried about it. It's not a huge deal to me because campaign, even, yes, even if you're a campaign that's all you play, it only lasts, like six to eight hours call of duty campaigns are usually really short and then it's done i honestly i just don't think that's worth sixty dollars paying for a full game and then you pretty much never play campaign again or maybe you play it on veteran to get all the trophies but then you go to multiplayer or you go to zombies or you do both in my case so i think missing the campaign is really not that big of a deal but only if and this is a huge if they're going to have all this extra time to be working on multiplayer and zombies, so this better be like one of the best Call of Duty multiplayers we've ever seen and one of the best zombies experiences. I don't know if it's going to be like more zombies maps or more multiplayer maps, more features, more game modes. This thing better be polished. They better have things like leaderboards, like the paint shop, stuff that hasn't been in these past couple of Call of Duties at launch. It better be ready to go, and I expect it to be because they've had so much extra time to work on it. So honestly, I feel like if Call of Duty can be on top and just be on the level of these other games and keep players focused on multiplayer and zombies, I don't think people are really going to miss campaign as, as much as they're making a huge deal out of it right now. Now, there's also the other thing is, you know, is it still worth $60 without a campaign because there's less content? It was also rumored that Raven or maybe even Treyarch is working on a Battle Royale mode to replace the campaign, which I think would be super cool. Um, Battle Royales, Fortnite is fun, it's not my favorite game ever, but you can't deny the fact that it has absolutely blown up among the gaming community. So actually I would be really excited to see what Call of Duty, with its smooth graphics, smooth gameplay, awesome gun mechanics, just kill streaks, stuff like that, I would love to see what they can do with Battle Royale. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to that, so if that replaces campaign, you know, no big deal to me. Um, I expect this to be a very good game this year. Uh, you know, I'm a little bit nervous just seeing them not having a campaign. Uh, somewhere in the article it said they also, they had ideas for the campaign, but they didn't have enough time to finish it. I don't know, that kind of worries me a little bit, because I don't understand why they would stop, like, midway, and then just decide not to do it. So, I mean, take this with a grain of salt, guys. It's, it is possible that even, like, through a reputable source that... Uh, these articles aren't 100% true, but let me know down in the comments below, are you sad that there's going to be no campaign? Uh, does it not matter to you? Is it not a big deal? Are you more multiplayer focused anyways? Are you going to get the new Call of Duty? Let me know down in the comments below what you think. But I definitely plan on bringing you more Call of Duty this year since it is Treyarch. I'm actually really excited for it. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good day and I will see you in the next one.